I guess it went off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi everyone! I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and yeah, no spoiler. <laughs> Tonight, I am going to be unboxing the December 2019 Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. But before we get to the actual box, I have, um, they sent me a little present that I'm going to open up um, in part. Well, I'll get into that in a minute. But I did, I try to avoid spoilers for these boxes. But when I get a spoiler, I can't help but nerd out. I mean, like, these are the shoes I wear around the house every day. Uh, so what I came across, I don't know what's going to be inside or what the interior looks like, but I did see in a caption on Instagram, the theme. And I'm not going to say it yet because we haven't technically opened it yet. But yes, I saw it. Um, I think one of the Paradise um, Fibers employees, Barbie, was unboxing the box. And so I like went away before I saw what was actually inside. But yes, I am excited. I am very excited. And my birthday's tomorrow, so this is all gonna feel like an early birthday present. Oh, and since, I mean, I could wear the helmet the whole time, but then you won't really see my reaction because I'll have to be fairly emotionless. So that is just gonna go, actually, maybe it'll trade spots. No, it doesn't really. Um, but I will put on my little um, BB-8 and R2-D2 ears, even though they'll be mostly out of frame, but I made those when we went to Disney a couple years ago, for when we went to Disney. But anyway, hello, 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 welcome everybody. Um, yes, I am very much saying that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think that what's really, really fun for me, and I'm gonna just drop the, um, nope, that is not the link, I'm attempting to, drop the link to Fiber of the Month Club and my computer is not cooperating. Um, so I'm gonna drop my affiliate link in. Yeah, so when I do get spoiled, spoiled about these, then I'm gonna nerd out, especially when it's a theme that I know, well, I mean, I'm not the biggest expert, but I have, but I'm a big fan in the like sense, right? <laughs> Um, but Paradise Fibers, um, has this amazing Fiber of the Month Club, which has an awesome changing theme each month that always surprises and delights me. Each box has six to eight ounces of fiber and a bunch of fun extras, and it's all pulled together around a beautiful theme. This box starts at $34.99 a month for the continental U.S., and then for other regions like Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, uh, Europe, um, I think Europe, definitely UK. Um, there are more, it is slightly more expensive to accommodate for shipping, but shipping is included in the monthly charge. Now, since we are after the 10th of the month, um, if you were to order the Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club today, your first box would be in January. But you can always reach out and say, hey, do you have more of the December boxes available? I'd love one, and they will send you one of these. Um, and Fiber Club members also can get 10% off all regular priced fiber purchases, and um, you get sort of first dibs if you want to buy more fiber of what's in the box. You have access to it by just contacting customer service before they release it on the website, and so that's awesome. And Paradise Fibers, they're really, really good to me. And I really appreciate them sending this to me for free so that way I can share it. And the links that I have posted in the chat and description are affiliate links, which means I will earn a commission if you sign up. But this wholeheartedly is a true treat yourself box. And it feels very personal each time I open it up, which I think is amazing. Um, and I mean, they included me in the box once, so that was extremely personal. Um, but yeah it's just amazing but before i get to the fiber of the month club box i want to open up this present that they sent me and in part i think that they packaged up my fiber of the month club box um separately from the rest because they accidentally left something out of my box they said that it wasn't wouldn't be a problem for everyone else just mine and so part of this box is in here so we're gonna open this first and see 
do do do. And so right now, big brown box. Oh my! They made me a little, a little care package. Oh my gosh, this has to be what was missing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, that I think goes with that. And this, I, I don't know. Maybe this goes with that as well. Maybe. Ooh, or, okay. I, I'm gonna wait and see if that is supposed to be part of that as well. But um, I've got some, the filler is so fun. I like using this for like other craft projects or letting the kids play with it. But look, they sent me a little wrapped present. This is so sweet. Let's see what the card says. Rebecca, you are an inspiration to all of us here at Paradise. Wishing you and yours the happiest of holidays and a beautiful new, new year. Thank you, the Paradise Fibers family. Thank you so much, Paradise Fibers. <laughs> um, this is a Hammett Anderson pajamas, which might still be available this year. They've had this for many years. Um, and my whole family and dog also have this. Um, and the... The boys have had multiple sizes from newborn all the way up to like whatever they are now. Ooh! It's a wooden yarn bowl! Ah, let's open. Uh oh. Okay. I almost lost my box cutter. Let's open this up. The jammies are from Hannah Anderson. Oh, this has like a good, this has a nice heft to it. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, this has like a good weight to it. So I don't think it would like tumble around with the ball of yarn. And it is a dark, looks like there's many options of these available. Um, this is a dark wood. Um, it's an oily satin finish to protect the wood's natural beauty. Um, and it's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Yeah, Hannah's has lots of dog matching piece. Thank you so much, Paradise Fibers. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, can I set it somewhere? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set it right there. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful finish. All right, let's get to our Fiber of the Month Club box. Um, now, I think that one of these is what was maybe supposed to be in there and the other one either was supposed to be in there or they sent it to me because they know how excited I got over what I saw in there, but I'll, normally I try to show you guys things first, but I want to be able to accurately say what is part of the Fiber of the Month Club. So if you had, if you were still wondering, the theme of the month is Star Wars. Oh, look. <laughs> it's got the star. It's a starry paper. That's awesome. Okay, let's, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Oh, man. I mean, right off the top of my head, maybe I got some Yoda and some 3PO. Ooh. <laughs> oh thank you i was I, at first i thought you were saying that this was like the cabinet street and then i realized that yeah that um okay so oh my gosh this this bag is so fuzzy okay let me see what is ooh, Another little pom-pom. Okay, let's see what's in here because it's possible that they sent me multiple fiber. Oh, no. No, it did No, I have um, everything I'm supposed to. Last month, they sent me extra fiber, and so I wanted to make sure and see. All right, so in our box, there's a total of six ounces of fiber in three colorways, which I will get to momentarily. Um, and then this belongs in here. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I think that the, the other thing might be extra. All right, so here is our box. Let's get into the fiber. So I, <laughs> wow, I wonder when they put this together um, because this is two ounces of Swamp Baby. 
Uh, I don't know. I have Disney Plus. I don't know about all of you. So this is Swamp Baby. Ooh, this is pretty. There's definitely like some mint and like a lime apple green and a little bit of white and brown. This is Baby Alpaca Superfine Merino and Mulberry Silk. 35% Baby Alpaca, 40% Superfine Merino, and 25% um, Mulberry Silk. And this is beautiful. Um, ooh, and the, it looks like the silk is in sort of like that apple lime green and a little bit in the mint. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Well played. I mean, has Disney Plus been out for a month yet? Well played. Maybe it was going to be Yoda and they swapped. <laughs> okay, so here is Golden Droid. Golden Droid is the same fiber blend. So it is also 35% baby alpaca, 40% um, superfine merino, and 25% mulberry silk. And this one has, oof, it's got, it's shades of like gold and rust and brown and white. And I mean, the two of these, are stunning together. There's not actually any yellow in here, but the green sort of picks up where these yellows um, go off. Yes, I am sure that they had to be very, very careful with copyright. Um, yes, I think um, it's the Intergalactic Fiber Club. Oh my gosh, Stash Wars. Um, I didn't even read it. I thought it said Star Wars, but it said Stash Wars. Yes, so it's the Intergalactic Fiber Club. Um, yes. Um, and so, well, trademark really can be, can be a, an issue, but all right, let me show you. <laughs> Let's see what the, this is <laughs> Darth Vade U, <laughs> V-A-D-E-W-E. <laughs> I love it. I love this so much. <laughs> okay. Um. And so we've got some peppermint stash tea, um, which they seem to be including the stash tea each month now. So I don't know if the peppermint is actually themed, but I'm enjoying the tea. And so I like peppermint tea. So I really like it. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so you don't mess with the mouse. Okay. And then this, this little furry pom-pom is actually... A one pygmy mudhorn egg, faux fur pom pom. <sighs> um, yeah, I, 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 it's worth it, and we're like the fiber oh, is so good. Okay, let's get to this is Chewbacca fleece. Um, so it's two ounces of Chewbacca fleece in. Okay, so this, this is a, like, look at this furry bag. This is so funny. It really makes me think of an Ewok. Okay, and this one, it's in a plastic bag. Oh, probably because this is so fuzzy. See how it, like, sort of sheds? Probably so it didn't shed on the, <gasps> ooh, ooh, look at this, guys. So this is 100% Hilltop Farm. Uh, Hua, Hua Kaya Alpaca, probably butchered that, but this is, it's fleece and it feels, I mean, you can smell, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't like, it, you can smell the oil still on here. So I don't know, I've never dealt with like fleece, but it, it smells like clean, clean alpaca. This is awesome. This is like, oh my gosh, look at these colors. I mean, it's so chewy. Do you know that um, Chewbacca's costume actually was knit? Um, there was a, so that way it would drape and the fur would like move correctly. So there was a knit base. And I think that the actors, I could be wrong if it was like the actor's wife, like helped. There was something, um, but it has a knit base. All right, I'm putting this back in to keep it safe, but so, yeah, we've got two ounces of this fleece. And then, let's see. All right, to show you guys the base. I got something there. 
Um, the face of the box, we've got, ooh, this is different. It's like black and silver. <laughs> black and silver down there. And let's go in to our little, like, little star bag of extras. Okay, so one of the first things, and, oh my gosh. So the, the Paradise Fibers box arrived a couple days ago, but the the extra present that had my stitch marker just arrived today. So in there, this is so cool. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay, this is so clever. It's a little lightsaber progress keeper, which is like, I can't tell if it's wood or like a little plastic dowel, but there's like tape around the back to form the hilt. That is so clever and absolutely delightful. Absolutely delightful. It'll be so fun to have this like at the bottom of a project or something to mark um, where it is. So um, glow in the dark. We'll have to do that later. Um, apparently it'll glow in the dark. That's awesome. Um, and there is something else in here. Wait, I don't know if it says it though. Uh, so it looks like there's some green fire star, but I don't know. I'm now confused if this is in all of them because I don't see it listed on the manifest. Oh my gosh, the featured artist. I'll have to show you guys all this in a minute. Um, but I did get some fire star in it. Um, and so this, uh, yeah, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this bag is part of the kit because it's like star themed um, with the progress keeper, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if the fire star is just in my kit or if it's in the box. Um, and so if, I don't think Paradise Fires is in the chat tonight. Otherwise, I would ask them to clarify. You didn't get any Firestar? Okay, so they must. Um, Margaret, did you get a little starry bag um, with the stitch marker in it? Uh, let me know so then I know what to include. Um, so maybe they just sent me some of this bright green Firestar. Okay, the other thing that they sent me outside. Okay, they didn't come in this. Okay, so they must have put it in. They must have put it in here with the fire star to like keep it a little safe so it wouldn't like get broken or crushed. Um, so the progress, the progress keeper um, stitch marker is part of the kit. Okay. So the other thing that Paradise Fiber sent me is, do you remember? Ooh, there's a bunch. Do you remember the diamond fiber that got me so excited and had that like iridescent Angelina in it? They sent me. Some, I thought it was just going to be one, but they sent me some in like a coral pink and white. Um, and so, which is awesome. And I'm really excited. Um, that was very, very sweet of them to send me some extra little presents for the holidays slash my birthday. Okay, let's get to the newsletter because this always has some gems. So the newsletter will have your code to save 10% on all full price fiber. Um, but so currently in the far reaches of the Milky Way, Stash Wars, episodes, wait, 12? XII is 12, right? Episode 12, Rise of the Stash. <laughs> episode 12, because it's December. Oh gosh, okay. It is a period of peace in the galaxy. The Intergalactic Fiber Club Alliance of Super Crafters has recently secured a victory against murderous plots brought on by certain members of the Worldwide World Federation. The Alliance is now faced with a billion star-like fibers from their growing stash and an overwhelming task of completing their projects before the holidays. Members have plied together the strands of hope and peace to create powerful works of art that beautifully make up their creative story. Yet the stash is dark and full of terrors. Members of the IFCOA Wait, IFC, AOSC, fear the stash will spread from their headquarters to every branch of their homesteads and beyond. <laughs> you guys should see my house. The stash is spreading! Um, to secure a final victory over creative blocks once and for all, the IFC, AOSC, 
um, that's the Intergalactic Fiber Club Alliance of Super Crafters, um, have banded together under the Ravelry Initiative to join forces and fully annihilate all and every creative block leading up to the holidays. Um, oh, this is so cute. This is so, so cute. And so that like is in the like scrolling text here. Um, and so actually, one of the reasons why they chose silk is because they said peace silk. Um, and so it's naturally elastic and durable. This cotton-like silk is known around the world as peace silk due to the worms being left in peace and solitude to reduce and leave their cocoons as nature intended. So it's airy silk. Um, is the slightly less lustrous and more dense relative... Um, that's cool. So there's always like some information or frequently some information about like the different fibers and they have some featured mittens projects. Um, and there's, I want to show these, but without showing the like codes, cause there's discount codes for the patterns, but some gorgeous color work mittens. And there's one more set. <laughs> So, so fun. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's another page and there's some um, crochet patterns for Star Wars droid beanies. And well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually made the boys R2D2 and BB8 beanies, crochet beanies. I don't think that this is the, that's actually, this looks like the pattern that I used. Um, maybe not for BB8 because BB8 was pretty new, but I'm pretty sure this is the pattern that I used. It looks really darn close to the pattern I used for R2D2. Um, and so gosh, that must have been back in 2016 that I did that. And so that's why my mom necklace is actually R2-D2 and BB-8 because that first Halloween, oh, I definitely have a picture of it though. Even if I don't have the hats, I definitely have a picture. I definitely have a picture. Right, Rebecca? totally have a picture in a pile of pictures but I want to show you this because it was pr I'm proud of it I'm very proud of it okay oh no oh no okay so I did here we go I was reprinting pictures of Halloween's so yeah I made them these costumes Man, I had a lot of time back then. <laughs> but I made them these costumes and yeah. So Star Wars is a very like meaningful thing. I mean, Star Wars was a huge, huge part of Keith's upbringing. Um, and we were like, we're young enough that Star Wars pretty like always existed while we were alive. Um, and so I definitely saw them at a young age, but Keith's a big fan and I always really liked R2-D2. And then when I like met BB-8, I mean met, I was really excited. So yeah, this is, when I saw that theme, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go get all my Star Wars stuff. <laughs> and this is even like, we have kid sized Stormtrooper and this, this we got... So a lot, we have a lot of like fun costume stuff. This we got for $3 at Target. Um, it was like after, like beginning of November. So after Halloween, it had no label. And so they're like, give it to them for three bucks. And we're like, okay. <laughs> um, and so that's like frequently when we like pick up costume stuff, but it's just, it's fun. It's really, really fun. Um, and the kids wore those hats for a long time. They're not like crochet hats like that aren't necessarily super warm, but the kids still wore them um a lot that winter 
Um, but anyway, I, I mean, you can, you guys can tell how delighted I am. <laughs> and that's what, like, the, the crux of it is the fiber is always stunning. They vary, like, it varies between, like, neutral colors, natural colors, blends, um, and, like, all kinds of different things. And they're so creative, and the fiber contents vary from month to month. And so I think that there's something for everyone. And so sometimes everyone gets the same color. Sometimes it's different. And it's great because if you are a new spinner, then you're getting exposed to different blends and fiber types. I mean, some things I've never even heard of before. We've had pineapple and rose and like all kinds of awesome things that, yeah, they just do a really good job in picking fibers that go with the theme and then putting together a box that feels like a care package. Like it feels like my best friend went and like put this together for my birthday. That's what it feels like. Um, and you know, my, <laughs> she might be a big Star Wars fan. <laughs> but this is just cute and delightful. And you know, if you enjoy a fun surprise and want some good spinning fiber, I mean the value, for all of the fiber is there as well. Like, because it's a mystery box and because you're getting it first, you're getting first access to new fiber blends that, or fibers that they're gonna be putting out on their website. Um, but it's also a good price and you can go buy more and use that 10% off coupon. And so I just think it's so creative and they're so innovative and on like on point with this. Um, I mean, there's no way, they have to have been planning like the colorways in this box for a while. But the newsletter, to have it be, um, to have it be Swamp Baby, I, I am impressed. I am beyond impressed. And yeah, I like, I'm so thankful that Paradise Fibers lets me do these unboxings. And by lets me, I mean, that they continue to send me this for free. It is a, like, I enjoy spinning the fibers like as well, but it's just, it's so pleasurable to unbox. And honestly, the like, I don't think I come close to being like at their level, but when I like put together and try to wrap up the Hanukkah samplers and things that I do, I want, I try to think about that feeling of anticipation and excitement to get the box and to unwrap and see like all the things that are in there. And so that's one of the things that like I think of when I'm preparing for, for the mystery boxes that I do. Um, but yeah, I mean, someday I will make it, <laughs> I will make it for an actual visit so that way I can meet the team. That would be really, really fun. Um, maybe I'll have to find like a Northwest fiber conference or something, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful, and I know when I show, uh, I know there are a bunch of people who will be like, turn this into something for me, because I know I just know a lot of people who are going to be really, really excited about it. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the patterns are great here. I can give a little more information about these patterns. So crochet, Crocheters of Awesome Droid Beanies, it's crochetersofawesome.blogspot.com. Um, Jen Spears. Um, and you basically can use almost any, uh, yeah, I think that when I made mine, there was the, the C3PO one, but uh, I think that um, BB-8 was new enough that there wasn't a BB-8 one yet because I went and I found a different pattern. Um, and let's see. Oh, the, okay. So the other patterns on here, the featured artists. The Chewy Mittens, um, Therese Sharp, and there's a 50% off coupon. Um, and then there's Star Wars 1 and 2 by Lada London. Um, and there's also a code for 30% off one Ravelry mitten, and it's valid for both mitten patterns. Um, yeah, and so they're just... Like all the mittens are just so cool. Um, um, I think they're in Spokane. Spokane. Uh, 
<laughs> I'd love to. I unfortunately I'm not very uh, mobile. Uh, I mean, okay, that sounds off. I'm mobile personally. I'm not very. Uh, it's difficult for me to travel right now with two young kids and me being the primary uh, caregiver uh, at the moment, and so it would require. Uh, a lot of shuffling <laughs> uh, at the moment for me to travel. Um, so Spokane. Yeah. Um, and so at some point, I'm hoping to like try to get like fiber conferences and stuff and do that again. Unfortunately, like, I mean, I used to do Vogue Knitting Live when I lived outside of Chicago and I would go and just commute in every day. Um, and I also went to Stitches Midwest in the same way. I just commuted there. Um, and I wish that I could like more easily do that, but with accommodation and stuff, it gets like super like expensive. And so, uh, it's not necessarily like, I like, I'm not going to be going to Vogue Knitting Live in New York this January. Um, but I hope maybe that should be like a 2020 goal to like plan plan a trip where I finally go to a fiber conference again. I just, I love taking classes and meeting, like, like I took classes with Susan B. Anderson and um, Anna from Mochi Mochi Land and like all, and like all these people who are just so creative, um, Nora Khan and like all these like amazing designers and it's just really fun. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with uh, pronunciation and reading. Um, I love to read and I got over what uh, might have technically have been a learning disability because I liked books so much that I read a lot and so then I got better. But my reading comprehension uh, tends and spelling and vocabulary tend to be in the lower side, whereas my math and everything, I was always really high up with those aspects um, of testing. <laughs> um, oh, this is awesome. And the fleece, like I don't think I've spun just fleece before and I am really excited. This chocolate and black color is stunning and is honestly a perfect young chewy. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. That wasn't a very good impression, but I had to. Um, so again, here is the Golden Droid and the Swamp Baby colorways. Um, it is just, like, awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, so awesome. Um, and then, like, the little things... So when I got, they had one of these in a box a few months ago, and it was funny because they're, last winter they put these cute little hats with pom-poms on the Make Way for Duckling statue in the Boston Common, and I was like, ooh, where do I find those? And I still haven't used one yet, but I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, the shirt, Hannah Anderson. I don't know if they have this one this year, if they shifted up their, like, Fair Isle Star Wars thing, but we got this before Ryder was born. And like, you can see that like R2-D2 is actually stitched. I mean, like it's flat, like it's printed, but it looks like little stitches, like embroidered. It looks embroidered. Eh, maybe it almost looks, I can't tell if they're little Vs or Xs. Um, but yeah, the, these colors are stunning and <laughs> <laughs> the little glow-in-the-dark lightsaber progress keeper. And then the Darth Vader. you. I'm so... Oh my gosh. And so it's just, it's an amazing, like it's a delightful box. Like, and then from like the wrapping, like the tissue paper they use, everything is so on point and on theme. Like, the stickers always have the most delightful, like the delightful little puns. And yeah, it's just so much fun. And oh, and the peppermint stash tea. Um, yeah, it's just, 
they do they do such a good job i don't know if they sell the stickers on their own probably not because i think that the stickers are probably ex exclusive to um to the club but i mean it's awesome it's really really awesome and i think that they work hard and they do a good job promoting like smaller artists and designers like you know i'm 100 percent sure that um they i don't think they would be including a pattern in here if they didn't reach out and ask permission from the designer to do that and i think that especially like it's just nice exposure for the designer um especially when it's a fun pattern and how funny is it that i actually like crocheted this myself from this same pattern um you can go check on my ravelry to be sure but i'm nearly positive that that looks like the exact one i did because i remember the um the little embroidery on that step or like the little um chain stitch on that um and yeah it's just it's so much fun and it was like well technically when they put me in the box they surprised me <laughs> um and they gave me a shout out in in the box and I was like, what? <laughs> um, and so that was really, really exciting, but they also uh, knew I would be unboxing it. And so I think they wanted to see me react. But yeah, I just love, love, love the creativity. Um, and spinning is a lot easier to learn and you don't have to start with a spinning wheel. Um, although I find the spinning wheel to be a little easier than I did a drop spindle, but um, Paradise Fibers has stunning drop spindles and people even make spindle drop spindles. You can use like, um, like a, a dowel and people have used like a CD disc um, to, you need some kind of weight on it, but you can use so many different kinds of things to spin. I think, I mean, I don't have one, but there's a lot of like make your own drop spindle tutorials. Oh, and speaking of my uh, new warping board that I made is back there. Of course, I was eyeing, I was eyeing the Paradise Fibers has some really beautiful warping boards that aren't that expensive. And I was eyeing them, but the collaboration I was doing, they wanted me to make one. And so then I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> but I, I came close and I still might get one of the ones from Paradise Fibers someday. Though actually I want to save up for a blending board. That's what I want. Their blending board videos are so mesmerizing. And I love like, they'll do these like ones that are inspired by like, Dis by, like Disney villains or by different things. And it's just like, so fun to watch. Um, hi everyone. Guys, thank you so much for joining this like, this is amazing. Like this is intergalactic and it's out of this world. <laughs> literally. Well, okay, not literally, except that it's technically the intergalactic box, but you know, I said I was going to be nerding out tonight. And in case you missed the beginning, what? Oh, come on. There we go. Not that stormtroopers usually have lightsabers, but you know. The kids have been playing with my lightsaber that I made at Disney. But anyway, they like to have epic lightsaber battles. <laughs> this is not one of the like really expensive ones from Galaxy Edge. I think it was like 25 or $35. Um, so not, yeah, uh, not one of the, the new ones it's that, you know, it didn't fail that quickly, but yes, nerds, nerds unite. I don't know. I am quite nerdy <laughs> and yeah, I can't, like, I had no idea that this would be coming and man, <sighs> Like, I, it just feels perfect. And especially, I mean, it's perfect because the new movie is going to be coming out a week from tomorrow. Well, technically a week from today. But opening day is technically a week from tomorrow. But now opening day starts at like 6 p.m. the night before instead of midnight. 
So I feel like my kids will never understand the joy of going to a midnight show because the midnight shows start at six, which is how I took my kids to the first showing of Frozen, uh, or Frozen 2. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm clearly undercover. <laughs> Oh, 35 years ago. Oh man. Yeah, that, uh, so what, I think, was it, um, Return of the Jedi that came out in 83? I don't remember which one. Um, one came out the year I was born, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And we also, oh, Keith Stocking, I think, has TIE Fighters on it. Oh, no, I didn't put TIE Fighters on it. Who's, who's stocking got TIE Fighters? Oh, Lucas' stocking has TIE Fighters on it. Um, so if you look at the, L, up the LAB stocking pattern on the Kempitz website, you can see that. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to head out because I think I'm supposed to disappear upstairs. The kids and Keith are out running errands, I think, for my birthday tomorrow. So... And Lucas has told me I have to go away so they can get set up. I don't know what this means, but I'm really excited because the six-year-old has plans. We'll see what these plans are, but he has plans. And I have not been this excited for a birthday in a while. And I know what a lot of my presents are because there's some things I picked out myself, like some Legos and stuff. And oh, I'm going to a friend's pop-up tomorrow there's like a pop-up thing in boston um so like i guess i'm gonna get to hang out like in the hallway and in central perk and like go through and it's gonna be really fun and i'm really excited um and so surprisingly no bruises yeah we've definitely had injuries with these and then i'm like no this one's mine and the kids like it but anyway I am going to head out. May the force be with all of you. <laughs> um, yeah, may the force be with all of you. And yeah, I mean, this is definitely not going to be the last live stream that I do in 2019, even though I'm feeling all like nostalgic and New Year's-y already. Um, there's a lot I had to replace the battery is corroded in our old one. So note to self, if you have an electric Hanukkah, make sure you remove the batteries before you store it. So the replacement just arrived today and I have to put up the rest of the Hanukkah decorations. But anyway, multi-faith family here. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna head out. I think I hear them in the driveway. <laughs> Paradise Fibers, thank you so, so much for sending me this. Um, I like, I love it. Even if I wasn't nerding out to the theme, I think I would be really, really impressed. Um, but I am nerding out and I so, so appreciate everything that you did to put this box together. And thank you also for my extra. This is not part of the box, but they sent me a yarn bowl as well. And you can find these also on their website. Um, again, I am an affiliate and I will drop the link in the chat one more time. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. And Yep, I'm running upstairs now <laughs> to hide because I've been instructed to. So goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>